It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Hey guys, and thanks for clicking on this video. Today I will be showing you guys how to glitch into a DLC area where a gigantic tower is and from there glitch into a gigantic lake that you can sparrow surf on all without needing the adventure called Supply and Demand. What you will need though is a Warlock with Dawnblade and the Bureaucratic Walk Emote. Let's get started. So go ahead and fast travel to the Trostland in the EDZ. As I mentioned before, the Bureaucratic Walk Emote will be needed for this glitch. As well as the Dawnblade subclass while using the path called Attunement of Sky. Either way, just make sure you have Icarus Dash. Then follow me as I head towards Mavic Square. Once you make it here, you'll notice that there are some enemies. You can clear them out. That is optional, but it does make things easier for the next step of the glitch. Once you've had it out with the Fallen, head towards the barrier on the right hand side. This is where the bureaucratic walk emote will come handy. If you do not already know how to glitch through walls using this emote, I have a guide that you can watch linked in the description. Now glitching through this barrier may be tough, just keep trying the glitch in different parts of the barrier, but here's where I got it. As you can see, I went right through and therefore I'm able to continue with the glitch. Now you're going to want to come over and you're going to have one more barrier to glitch through, unfortunately. Now, I found that this barrier was even harder to glitch through than the last one, but to get it, I ended up jumping on top of this conveniently placed platform and went diagonally into the corner in which the barrier and the wall of the building meet. Now, there's no more barriers to glitch through and the bureaucratic walk emo is now useless to you for the rest of the glitch. Now, just follow me as I'm making my way to the tall tower and going through this tunnel that I bet you've never been through during the entire campaign or any other adventure. Notice that when I hit this area here, I hit a checkpoint, but this checkpoint has no name, hinting that this is DLC. Now I'm going to cross this bridge and I'm going to go up a hill that eventually at the top of the hill will be the tower that you guys have all been dying to see. So here I am, this tower is absolutely magnificent, but here's the challenging part. You now have to climb it. It's very simple on the Warlock. Right now I'm using the Burst Glide if you are curious, and this is where your Dawnblade subclass will come in handy. Now by the time you've made it to here, or at least made it to the top of the tower, you should have your Dawnblade completely charged, which you will need once you make it to the top. So, now just follow me as I guide you through the jumps. So you're going to want to jump up here, there's going to be an X, and the first X you're going to want to jump onto the middle. Then you're going to want to look up to the right and there's going to be another platform right above you, you're going to want to jump out and over. Then there's going to be this pole sticking out, jump right on top of it and kind of make your way forward and like to the end. Then look up and there's going to be another very skinny pole that you can land on. Then from there to the right, there's going to be this, I don't even know what the hell that is, just, just jump on that. Then up to this metal beam, and then up onto this satellite dish looking thing. And now I jump really high to make sure I was accurate. Then another one of these random circular things. There's going to be a metal beam right above me that I am going to then jump on. Now there's not much to go. Walk to the end and jump over and up and around to get onto this platform. There's going to be these poles sticking out. Make sure that you jump on one. Then jump onto this gear that's just here doing stuff. 
And now you are at the top. If you want to go even higher, there are these little posts that you can jump onto. And then the tallest one is right here. And once you make it here, you are as high as you can go. Now, behind the trees I'm looking at is flat ground. That is where I'm aiming to get to. But just in case you want to see how long it takes for a grenade to touch the ground after you've thrown it from the top of this tower, well, let's just say it takes a long time. Anyways, back to the trees. Jump as high as you can and pop the Dawn Blade, and there's just infinite Icarus Dash all the way to the flat ground. Now, if you go too close to the trees, you will get a turn back signal, so just so you know, don't go too close to the trees. And here you can actually pull out your Sparrow, which is really nice, and you are now out of the map. And there is a random hole that Bungie just put, like why? There's no other hole except for this random, random hole that you can actually fall through. It's not just like transparent ground, it's actually something that you can fall through. Anyways, pull your sparrow and head to the left and hug the, the edge of the ground. Then you're going to want to quickly go this way and take a right and you're going to get a turn back signal. But once you get right over here, there will no longer be a turn back signal. You are almost to the gigantic lake. Now I can pretty much see it. Now there's going to be another turn back signal here. Just make sure you hug the wall and the turn back signal just lasts a second. Now it is very, very, very simple to get to it. Now, now where these three trees are randomly positioned, jump onto the rocks right next to them, and I just almost died. And oh god, okay, I am going down and rest in peace. Alright, so take two. So I'm going to jump to these trees and not fall off. Then there's this black patch to my left that you can jump on, and it just makes everything easier. So, and I almost died again, jeez. I'm really good at dying. So now I'm gonna jump onto this water, and it is physical, and now you can sparrow surf. It is absolutely insane, and I am just going to show you how big this lake actually is. But either way, we are on the complete opposite side of the Trost Land right now. So if you, right when you teleport to the Trost Land, if you look behind you across the river, this is not the river we're on, but across the river you are going to see some buildings and like a broken down kind of coliseum looking place and guess what i am in that coliseum looking place right now on the complete opposite side of the edz it is absolutely insane now all the rocks and stuff on the water here are completely just non-existent it's just kind of like images that you can go right through I don't know why Bungie would put such a massive lake in the middle of nowhere and make it physical if they weren't actually going to use it for something in the future or if they were going to use it for something that they have already done. But either way, this place is absolutely insane. What sucks is that if you go too close to the middle of the lake, like if I turn left right now and headed more towards the middle, I will get a turn back signal and if I continue too far in this direction, like if I keep doing the loop for too long of the entire lake, I will also get a turn back signal, but you still have a ton of lake to explore. And I just love it. I love it so much. So Sparrow Surfing in Destiny 2, you used to be able to do it Destiny 1, actually you can still do it now if you wanted to, but yeah. Just make sure you don't fall off the edge because you do see some land underneath you, but everything underneath this and around it is completely transparent. As you can see, I threw my grenade right through, through that thing. And now I am going to do this emote thing that brings me down. It's a perk of the Dawn Blade. If you switch it from the Attunement of Sky to the other path that you can choose that the name just doesn't come to me right now. If you hold circle, you just do this emote and you're supposed to like hit the ground, but I'm just going to show you how far you actually drop when you drop. You drop for a very, very, very long time. Like, I'm still dropping right now. And look at me. I just look really stupid. And there you go. I died. And although it doesn't say you can respawn when you die, you just hold, uh, you just press uh, square and you just automatically respawn. There's not even like a timer. 
and this area has no checkpoint and that's all I have to show you guys for today. So thank you for watching, please subscribe for more gameplay and content and I hope to see you all in the very next video.